In addition to organization and project users, there's also the concept of a MongoDB user. In simple terms, this user is someone who has access to the database itself and will able to gain access via the MongoDB command line interface or CLI. By default, no users have access to the database and when a new cluster is provisioned, it isn't accessible to the internet at all. We'll need to change that either through whitelisting or explicitly allowing a MongoDB user access. These users are based on a project to project basis and don't necessarily have to be an Atlas user. When on a project, click on the database access tab on the left side, which will take you to a list of the MongoDB users for a specific project. Here you'll see all the users added, as well as the permissions role that they've been granted. Expanding on the hierarchy explained around Atlas user permissions, there's also different roles within MongoDB users. Here you can see in our example that some of our users have different roles. Additionally, this is the place that you might add access for a non-user. For example, if you had a third-party application that might need to scrape your database, you could add them here with read-only permissions. For additional granularity, you can also click on the MongoDB roles tab in the top which will allow you to create your own custom database access role, if it's required. 